Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 38. We are astray from Kaled Highway North. Although you might read this as the ashtray from Kaled Highway North. <laughs> if you're anything like me. There's a site over here not far away. In this direction, right here. Right over there. And it's a it's a little outdoor ruin that I believe there's even a stake of America here for you to respawn quickly because it's so problematic. Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. This is just... It's Deathicus. So it's a... Uh, and there's a dog down here right there. So I'm going to try to zap him. Okay. And then there's that guy back there. So he's raising up with his giant cane. I don't know who's going to be better. Loodle the Headless or... What if we try to kill this thing? Hey now. That's what I was kind of trying to get to. Is the point where he would pop. Okay, so those two are out of the way. Lutel, and there's just, there's like a bunch more, and a bunch more dogs too, which is really the biggest problem here. Is these doggies? I might want to go with this spell. Oh, what'd I do? You beast of burden. And do that to you. Okay, give me the healing potion. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Lutel. Oh, that's great. They gave me stuff back. Awesome. A little pause there. I had to clear my throat. Um, I like that lightning spell. I just don't want to catch anymore. Blood. Where is he going? Oh, you're fighting this guy. Okay. More guys way down there. So you can see the ruin extends over there. And I think over in that direction is where the... I think you can even see it. Yeah, there's the basement. So, But to get there... Need a little bit of work. Sorry guys. It's just not going to be your day. Oh, look at you. Look at you. So aggressive. Dang it. I was trying to do the jump attack and I hit the wrong button. That's everybody here. That's great. Okay, another refresh. I like that. Boy, that's one of my favorite parts of the game. It just allows you to keep going. And I like that a lot. Rot grease. That'll be nice. I need to figure out who doesn't like rot very much. What do we have here? We got a doggo in the distance. Okay, let's do this then. Not him. Don't care about him. There we go. Zap. And that's more, which is great. Then I can replenish. 
This is going way better than the last time I tried this. With my katana wielding battle mage. There's nothing in here. Surprisingly, there's nothing in there, little. You're a ghost. Why are you blocking my way? Okay, where's everybody else? You can't be the only one. You are not the only one. I I just can't buy that. That you're it. Okay. L'Hotel de Headless. What do you think, buddy? What do you think's down here? What are we looking at? Oh, yeah. I have some vague recollection of that. There's a bunch of these guys here. They're, they're floor crawlers. Oh, son of a gun. Get him. Oh, we have one of these guys. The darts. Where are they? Oh, son of a gun. Would you swing at something? Please? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's right there. Kill it. Who's still shooting those things? Alright. That's better. The door. The door to the treasure. The meteoric ore blade. Very nice. Katana. There's the Wakazashi. Where is it going to show it at? Right here. It does magic damage, scales with int, and it has gravitas as an effect. But unfortunately, I don't have the int to show you what that does. So. But it was a blade that I was actually using in my offhand for a while with my dual katana battle mage build because <coughs> it did some pretty nice damage and magic damage of course later on I got the Uja Katana so I just enhanced that and moved on I think that's everything over here that's really what you come here for is that chest and I don't think there's anything else out here there's a giant plant up there but nobody cares about that alright so Let's go back to the site of grace and figure out what to do next. There's a few more locations there. So in this direction. Oh look, what do we have? Those guys and their dog. And their dog eight. There's of course there's the big lake of rot down here. Uh, we can go down in there. There's this merchant. I'm hungry, so he's got this. He's got three of these preserving bolluses that you can buy. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to buy them. I know they're expensive, but I want those for later. And then this is the Great Lake of Rot, which has many wondrous things in it. A couple of tough fights and a couple of really nice items for a brand new mage. If you are going to play an int caster, this is one of the first places you have to come. There's a staff and a spell that you need right away. But anyway, uh, at 34, is that enough for us to level up? No, we need 36. I just spent a little bit, but this is easy. This is an easy fix. <clears throat> Not fix, but it's easy for us to get the points. We need basically 2,000 points. 
and we've been picking up a bunch of these. I think three of these might do the trick or close to it. 1,200. Exactly what did we need? 36.4. So, two more of those. Uh, if I could press the right button. That gets us 36.3. One more of the small ones. Yeah, we're done. All right, level up time. What do I want to put my points? There are some arcane spells that require 13 in an arcane. Um, I don't think I have to worry about any of those spells right this minute. Like, what is this? This one requires 13 arcane dragon claw. Uh, are any of the other ones that I want really worth it? I need to go check real quick. Okay, so there are basically two different dragon spell groups there's uh church of the dragon communion and incantations which are things like the dragon claws and the dragon breaths and then lightning spear and a bunch of other similar spells that come from a different dragon group uh, and none of these require arcane on them so this is really the group of spells that i want to focus on um they're called the dragon cult spells uh, and so that's that's what I want to focus on. So I'm not going to put any more points into Arcane. And I may end up specking out of Arcane completely and lowering it back down to 9 to get the points elsewhere. Because uh, where I'd really like to keep putting them is we need to keep putting them in Vigor and Faith. Um, I'm going to... I need to get Vigor up to 40 and I need to get Faith up to like 60. Uh, and this actually needs to go all the way to 60. So... I'm going to do that. We're going to run down here and grab... This next Sight of Grace. And then I'm going to show you... Where to get the fancy stuff if you're a spellcaster. So, on the map. So over here is the ruins, right about here is where the arcane stuff is, the spell casting stuff. Here is a site of grace, here is a site of grace, and then later on we want to go to that site of grace. So let's get on our horse. We don't have any points to lose, we got 174. The Swamp of Aeonia. And these guys will <clears throat> try to do their thing. Uh, is it here? It's here, I think. No, not what I wanted to do. There we go. <clears throat> these things probably die to fire more. There we go. That's more like it. So in here... There's your meteoric staff. That is the staff you want to get. I don't think there's anything else here. And then where's the rest of it? It's over there. I think the spell rock sling is over here, but I might be wrong. I seem to recall getting the whole thing all right here, though. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Come over here. Is this it? Oh, this is all of the Perfume Traveler stuff. You're dead. Check out all the ruins over here. Since I'm not a sorcerer, I'm not paying close attention to where some of this stuff is. Oh! And there's... Dang it! Ah, uh, this is not going my way. Let's exit real quick. They want to poison me. You punks. So there is that hole in the ground there. 
my apologies. Uh, Windows decided to pop up and alert me to something that absolutely did not need my attention right this second. I, I, I still don't understand why in this day and age, Windows can't tell that you're playing a game and just be like, you know what, I'm going to leave this person alone. Because that really would be the wisest decision. Just leave me the hell alone. This box is off to the side. How odd. Okay. Oh, and there it is. Rock Sling is in the chest. Okay. That spell is a spell that I used all the way throughout the game. All the way to the end. Because that's how good it is. Can I just do this? Oh. That won't work there. But that will. That's... I, I kind of like having that around. Oh, I didn't really need to do that, did I? Okay. Bye. Alright. Those guys are gone. Now we want to go over here and find the other sites of grace. Butterflies and a big, huge Sisyphus. He's a big one. Oh, my. He actually kicked back. He kicked back. What a miracle. Alright, so way over here, I might even go grab this one first. Oh, there's this guy. That's right. Okay. Hmm. The problem with standing here and waiting for it. Ugh. Okay, there's... I think it's going to come back this way though, right? There's some wanderers over here. Oh, and it just went right through me. Okay. Damn you. Damn you, I say. So you're going to go up there, make a curly cue. Come straight at me. Ah! Okay, it is going to come straight at me, but it's going to go like this. Alright. This is always the waiting game. It's one of I wish I had a big AoE spell. Give myself room to see it coming. Curly Q. Poison armament. Alright. This little place over here. Very nice. You can see the misty windows there. There's a bit of a quest to unlock them. But there is a set of grace right here. And we will be doing that. You're dead. Leave me alone. Alright, so there's a boss over here. And it's a little bit of a problem. There's those guys. Losers one and all. There's a side of grace over here. One little tiny spot here that's safe. Now, this is 
very, very difficult. If I do remember correctly. Okay. Um, the big guy here. He didn't like that. And that didn't do any good. Okay. I'm gonna let the dogs try to take him on. And I'm gonna die. Get out of there. Oh no, Scarlet Rock. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Stop hurting my puppies. I'm really not very good at dodging that. Oh. I did like the work the dogs were doing, though. They were alright. I just don't think I can get this guy. I may have to grab my runes and go, although it was, what, 700 runes or something like that. It's not... Not a big deal. Is that him wandering off in that direction? What is this thing? It's got that sigh and I want it. Okay. Yeah, and that's why I want it. Alright, this is not conducive to doing what I want to do here. I wanted to go fight that guy and get my runes back, but that dude with the sigh might be... Touch the gold summon sign! Oh, jeez. Oh, yes. Please, let's do this. Let's get him. I don't think this is worth picking up. Let's get him. Get away! Oh, are you kidding me? I wonder if I can get him with other things like lightning. It's not much damage, is it? Nope. Get away. Just gonna put that on the ground. Scarlet Rot, which just stinks. I figure if I'm going to take in there and, and get the Scarlet Rot, I might as well just keep landing the hammer blows then. Let's trade. I'm dead. 
<laughs> That's tough. I just can't do enough damage to him. I have to hit him way too many times and he's got that scarlet rot thing and that's just kind of awful. So, hmm. I don't know if that's worth trying again or not. She was over here on this side. I don't think you can summon her any more than once. In fact, that's kind of been my experience with the summons. Is that they can really only be done one time. I want that weapon. So I'm going to look at this. Her summoning, no, her summoning sign is there. She can be summoned again. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it with the doggos, though. Yes. I'm just going to work on the sword and try to stay away from him. From his rot. Gosh darn it. Get away. Yeah, it sucked. He telegraphs it, but it's not enough time when you're in the middle of an attack. It's not enough time to get away. And now I'm in, now I can't get away from it. See, it's just, it's, that's, okay. All right. Oh, and that other thing joined. Oh, well, that's not, that's not conducive to winning. Okay. Let's go try to kill that thing first. I want that weapon. It's a really, really awesome weapon. Uh, and it may actually help kill Commander Nile here. Oh my god. Okay. Out of the rot. You're not going to drop that weapon, are you? You sucker. Alright, so what I want to do is be on this side of Grace. Now, is that thing going to respawn? Because if so, then I have an opportunity to farm for that weapon. Yep. Okay, so offline, I'll farm for that. I'm only going to kill this thing one more time. Oh, it might have dropped it. Yep. Okay. Well, luck be a lady tonight. So, let's take a look at this weapon. I'll show you what it does. It's The reach on its skill is what makes it cool. The Halo Psy. And it's just really that weapon damage and the holy damage that it has. Uh, it can do a lot of damage. Mikella's Ring of Light. What does and it claw? Yeah, blood loss build it. Tell you what I want to do. We're gonna come back here. This is the Inner Aeonia Site of Grace. We're going to go back and see our buddy. And see about upgrading this. 
because I want to see if it improves the faith damage. So right now it does... 76 plus 6 holy damage. It scales with dex, faith, and strength. So... 76 plus 7. Get me to. It's obviously going to cost some points to do it. That up, yeah. So it'll increase the holy damage, and it costs what to do it? a somber smithing stone. Mm. Well, I got to decide if I want to upgrade that. Dragon commune indicator. I don't care about upgrading that anymore. Um, this could be really interesting. This could be the thing that just tears that guy a new one. It might work. It might work the way it is, too. Let's do this. We're just going to go try. Because you know what? It can't hurt to try, and we've already left runes there, so... It's like a thousand runes or whatever. So here is the skill. Oh, not that one. This. And you can just chain those, which is what's really cool. So we're going to head over here. We're going to try this battle one more time. And if we get really, really close, we might consider doing it again. All right, give me a little the headless. Give me a bunch of this. And let's see if we can do this. It's not doing that much damage because it's just not buffed. It'll keep me at a distance, but it's not great, is it? He's like, man, I'm coming for that. If you're going to do that, miss. And it's not... I think if you take all these guys out... I may have a solution here, though. Okay, she's died. But I have a plan. Apparently, I can kill these guys. I was under the impression that they would keep summoning. How's these like fire? 156, that's not great. I know. I'm not worried about that. Okay, what's the lightning like? 189. That's not great either. Yeah. Do your rot thing, because I'm going to do this. My faith is pretty good. I might be able to get him with just the faith strike. That's not good. You can't get in that rot. Or 
Right, right, get out. Jump. Not gonna make it, sister. I wish I wasn't in the middle of doing a move every time he was doing that. Dang it. Alright, well. It was a good attempt. I have a little better idea what I want to do this time. Why is it not? Oh, because I don't have any spell. I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a plan, though. I got a better plan this time. I'm just going to get over here and where I can die peacefully by my rooms. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just reset. There's no reason. <coughs> okay. Here's the plan. We're going to go kill all his guys really fast. Little the Headless maybe keep him occupied. And then if I have two cooperators, uh, I think we have a chance. Where is she? Oh, is she not going to summon now? Have we... Oh, do I have to die for the cooperator to show back up? Oh, I suppose I do, don't I? Okay. Let's do this then. Because I can take these guys out in pretty short order. So now it's left to who? Him and me? Let's go save him before Little dies. of hits there. He's, oh lord. He summoned some other guys. Oh man. Here I thought I had it won. Oh, well. So does she? Dang it. to kill this guy again. Dang. Oh my gosh.
Why did I go back to the stick of America? You big dummy. Is she here? She could be summoned again. Because okay. I died. That's how that works. Alright. Hmm. Okay, darling. Well, we're going to have you and Loodle this time. Boy. Let's hope this is it. Alright, people. Listen. It's just him and us. Yep. I know enough to get around that now. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get him right there in front. Dang it, I didn't want to be right there in the middle of that. That's not where I wanted to be. Okay. Let's do that. I don't want to have to use these a whole bunch, but let's do it. She's over there taking a bunch of the tough work. Get away, get away, get away, get away. There goes Loodle. Please start pulling that move off. Okay, now he's going to summon again. You guys are not going to do this to me this time. I don't care. I'm going to stroke right through you, buddy. I really would like to start making that move now. Okay, Buster. Gosh darn it, what's going on? It's like I forgot how to do a jump attack for some reason. It must just be because I've, I'm out of potion stuff. That's... It's not doing it. It's not doing it. I don't understand what's going on. Jump! Okay, finally, there it is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Commander Standard, Unalloyed Golden Needle. Hoofta. 
Well, good lord, folks. You gotta see me fail a whole bunch. But we triumphed in the end. <laughs> oh, how crazy was that? Wow. I don't have enough to level up, do I? No. Okay. I want to see the commander standard. What the heck is that thing? Right here. Doesn't scale with faith. 138 plus 40 physical damage. 24 strength requirement. The other one actually has faith. The golden halberd that we got from our buddy. The tree sentinel on the horse. Guardian Sacred Sword Spear plus 8 and a Guardian Fire Sword Spear plus 6. Why do I have two Sword Spears? That feels like an accident. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so be it. Well, that was interesting. Oh, and then I hear some dinging. There it is. Okay. I want to chase it into that wall. You guys are dead. Oh my god. Ash of War, Sacred Ring of Light. Okay. You know what? You guys are really big. But I have holy damage. So. Where's that other one? Oh, you sucker. Come here. Come out and play. Great dragonfly head. That's used for something specific that I make. Uh, one of the few crafting things I do. Alright, so that thing we just picked up. What was it? No. Gosh darn it. No, I'm not going to know what it was because I was being killed by... Th That's one of the annoying things is that you're being killed by stuff so you don't have time to look at it. Uh, was it an Ash of War? Crud. Okay. So it is an Ash of War. It's called Sacred Ring of Light. It's not a spell. It's an Ash of War. And I don't want to be over here because it's so noisy. Uh, so I'm going to go somewhere... Right here. Third Church of America, which is nice and peaceful. And we'll end the episode with this sacred ring of light. I gotta figure out what this does. Sacred ring of light. We're gonna put it on something. I'm gonna put it on this guardian sacred short spear, sword spear plus eight. Sacred ring of light. I think it's that spell that's on that. Sigh. But I might be wrong. I could just look on the side. What's it say? Michaela's Ring of Light. Okay. So, does it do the same thing? Oh, Lord. Um, I might be a huge fan of this. Okay. This thing doesn't do as much damage as our sword does because the sword is plus 11 and this is plus 8 and I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't even scale as high even if it was plus 11. But for a second, let's go try it out. It's a good, always a good way to do things here at the end of a video. Just try some stuff out. Let's see what it does because you can chain this cast this thing together. It's putting out some good damage. Oh man, it just keeps chaining upward. It just keeps chaining upward until it eventually did... See, with your combo moves on your sword, you can do a four combo. 
I can do this. I can do swing, 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 swing. And then it's like done. And then it resets back to its lowest amount. But with that thing, you can just keep chaining it, which is awesome. So we go over here and do this again with the sword. Oh, I rested at the side of Grace. Oh, there he is. I was like, where is he? He's hidden behind the tree. So if you go up and you hit him, watch the numbers. Watch the numbers after I don't get stomped. He yells, okay. 369, 742, 11, 15, and it's back to 369. But with the Psy, or not the Psy, but with this stick in that special spell, we can keep flinging that. We got this, and then we can just do doing, doing, doing. So, if this is a bad weapon to do it on, because it doesn't swing very fast. So if we go back to Ashes of War and we say, let's put Sacred Blade on you again. And then what would be a good weapon to do it on? Like something that swings pretty fast. The Lord Sworn's Straight Sword. Or the broadsword. Which one is better? Either one, really. I mean, this one has a slight better advantage. But I'd, I'd want to use two swords that look the same because I'm a dork like that. So. Oh, and you can't put it on. <laughs> That's how they balance it. You can't put it on a faster weapon. They won't let you. So the fastest thing that we could probably get it on is our Lord Sword's great sword. It won't even let us put it on that. So it's only going to let us put it on like a halberd or something, right? Yep. It can only go on those kinds of weapons. Oh. So the, the Sacred Cross Naginata it would put on. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a good way to do it then. Because I was like, yeah, if you're going to just chain that thing, put it on the fastest weapon you have. But... That makes all kinds of sense. And it won't let me do it because I don't have the dex to manage that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so on a great... It won't even go on a great sword. Well, that... That's fine, then. I just put it on this spear, then. Yeah, baby. Sacred Ring of Light. <laughs> Hot dog! Okay, well, learn some more stuff today. <laughs> if you folks dig these episodes, give them a thumbs up, leave questions and comments down below, subscribe to the channel, my Patreon's listed in the description below. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.